course, you have My name is uh, Dr. Ed Hastings, um, and I'm, <coughs> I'm the director of the Institute for Sports, Spirituality, and Character Development at Newman University. Um, a little bit about the program. <coughs> Um, basically, what I would say the Institute is, and we've been actually there for 12 years now, hard to believe. Um, you're going to be hearing from a former student of mine sitting in the back in a little bit. Um, the Institute, what we're trying to do is to look for the good that's in sports. Um, and, and that's not always easy to do. Um, we don't want to be naive to the fact um, that there's a lot of bad stuff out there. And there is. There is no doubt about it. Um, but whereas a lot of people want to emphasize the negative, the bad stuff that's there, <coughs> what we want to talk about and look for and promote is the good that's there. And, um, and maybe even find God. Uh, we really want to look at that connection uh, between sports and spirituality and character development. Um, and that's not always easy. Um, but I think going along with the topic is sports as therapy. Um, the one program I'd like to talk a little bit more in depth about is that we do is the chaplaincy program. So each one of our teams at Newman has a sports chaplain. Uh, and really what that sports chaplain <coughs> you know, wants to do is um, they certainly pray with our teams, but they, I would say more than anything else, they're about uh, presence, uh, being with um, those athletes, our student athletes. Um, and so they're not a coach, they're not concerned mainly, although they do like winning, they're not concerned mainly about winning or playing time, but it's to be there, a presence on that team for each one of uh, the athletes. And uh, and so what would they do? Um, you know, in listening to uh, Jordan's presentation, which was very impressive, um, I would say that presence there is, is crucial in the sense of allowing that young person talk about what might be going on in their lives. Um, now assistant coaches can do that, maybe even sometimes head coaches can do that, but that's not really their main focus. I think it's sometimes good when they do it, but we think that having an adult presence that's not concerned about X's and O's, etc., but just being on the bench or being on the field with that person, letting, letting them talk about injuries or losses. Injuries can be a tough thing because what, what happens with our student athletes is they tend to be not really involved with the team anymore. Their sense of belonging a lot of times wraps around being on a team. And when you're hurt, you're really not a part of the team. Uh, and so that we try to do is really be present to those injured people. But also, um, the losses that really hurt, or getting cut. But looking at the losses, there was an article um, this past Sunday's Inquire. It was entitled, Winning Mania, But Not the Lessons. You know, um, everybody wants to win. Everybody does. But I think, I think we learn most from losing. Not that I ever wanted to lose, I mean, really, that's, that's true. But I think um, it, it's through the losses um, that we can learn a lot. And what's crucial in the, in the losses is, I think, Jordan, you, you would say, it's really important to talk about it. The worst thing we can do is put it under the table down here and keep it down here. So we offer people the opportunity to talk about the, the pain of those losses. You know, I teach a course also as part of my job in sports and spirituality at an undergrad level, uh, which is a lot of fun. And one of the things I really try to say in that class, and 
applies to the chaplaincy also, our secrets can lead to sickness. Our secrets can lead to sickness. When we don't talk about what is really going on, like getting cut or losing, it, it can be really painful. But going back to this article, one of the things that was really important in there that I think this author talked about, losing is a part of life. Sometimes we want to avoid it. And giving people the opportunity to talk about that is really significant. Let me give you an example of how I uh, do that. So I'm with the men's basketball team. Um, and this past year has been a tough year for us. We haven't, we won, I think we were about 500, about that. And um, especially for one kid who was a senior, was really looking forward to having a great year he hadn't played that much before for an assortment of reasons, one of which he came from another university. And um, he really was looking forward to starting. He's one of our captains. And it didn't work out for him. It really didn't. Uh, he was up and down. I had him in class. I thought things were really going well. I thought things were, you know, he was really starting to get it. And it, it just kind of collapsed. And what he would happen was he would get down on himself. He would really, and he, and he couldn't get out of it. Somewhat similar to what Jordan's talking about. And I, I would reach out to him, and we'd talk. And all of a sudden, we weren't talking anymore. And, and he just kept going down and down. Then, one day, I'm not sure how it happened, started getting things. All of a sudden, he was into meditation, and... Um, I said, wow, that's really good. That's really good. But it was the end of the season. Um, but, you know, so, so there was one game where he was really, I think, getting it. Um, and he was starting, and uh, he would just get negative on himself. And um, he's, he's starting the game, and the first couple of minutes, he turns the ball over twice, and the buzzer sounds, he comes out of the game. I remember you sitting next to me. And I said, what are you going to do now? You, we've been here before. Have you, you know, just let's try to get this together and try to get in your head and be positive. And, I, and he just kind of shook me off. I'm like, well, okay. okay. So he went back in the game. It was a playoff game. He scored 27 points in that game. We would not have won the game without him. And I was like, wow, what a great thing. And, you know, I, and I, I know it was a hard time for all of us. It really was, but I, I do think he got it. It just ha so happened that his mother doesn't usually attend many of our games, but she was there for that game. And I went up to her after I said, what a great win, I'm glad you're here. And I hope he gets it now. And I think he might. Uh, but that's the kind of thing, things that our chaplaincy uh, program can offer. It is absolutely a form of therapy. and can be very positive for our young people, and I think all of our chaplains are doing that kind of thing. So that's one thing uh, that we're doing. Thanks for your attention.